It's easy to feel like down about playing all men, but the way that I would combat that and try to come back from it is just focusing on the positive energy that we have on our team. Because once we have started all playing together and kind of become more of a cohesive group, the gender kind of starts to fade away. It's just players rather than like men and women. Um, at least that's how I feel. And so whenever I start to feel upset about playing all men and not really playing my best, I just focus on the people on my team who have helped me grow as a player and I just focus on them and it always helps. The ultimate team is how I've branched out and connected with people who know those people and know those people and it just kind of was the beginning of my social network. So maybe I wouldn't even have fewer friends, but I would definitely have different friends if I hadn't joined the team. Ooh. <laughs> Look at that stretch, Sam Stone. <laughs> I think that we have a really good team and everyone is really supportive of each other. And I think that that's something that everyone needs and it's nice to have that. I didn't really know anything. I couldn't even throw a frisbee. So everyone was just really nice and helped me learn a lot. Even just walking around campus, you'll see a teammate and you'll be like, oh, hi, blah, blah, blah. And it's just like you kind of feel connected to everybody, even when you're not playing Ultimate. Hey, Sarah. Hiya! Hey, Sarah. What I really like about Ultimate like, is just like the people that you're with. I think that there is a type of family that you have and you form a bond that you share with all of your team members more so than other sports. Whenever I walk around I always end up seeing someone that I know from the team and it's just really nice to have that kind of connection to people. I can go on campus and I can say hi to people that I probably would have just stared at and not known who they were or what's going like it's nice to have somebody to say hi to even if it's just a passing. Everyone's so like inclusive. No one excludes anyone from anything. There's no uh, skill level you have to be at to join, and everyone just has fun. I think Wheaton as a mixed team is better than Wheaton as just a men's team. I think that the option for Wheaton to be a women's team or like to eventually have a women's team would be really nice. Playing against all men's teams is frustrating. I think on both ends, I think that the guys who play on our, on Wheaton's mixed team, don't like playing um, as all men's because the women can't necessarily cover all the men. And I get frustrated because as a woman, I am not able to cover the tall men who tower over me and I can't catch up to. It's not really fair to play against hey, men who are giant and not that we can't but it's just really hard. These are mean boys, and I don't like them, but I still feel like a badass. I think as I've started to take it a little bit more seriously, it's been kind of frustrating playing on Mixed because I really like playing against women, and when we play against teams that don't have any women, but they call themselves Mixed, it's difficult to, I guess, play against men. Some guys are like, not like nice about it, but they like get it and they won't put super tall people, but um, some other schools don't do that. Especially guys coming from all men teams, like they just don't even know how to play with women. Like they just have never experienced it. Uh, they don't play against men, uh, women, so they don't know how. Hey, and let's get a When they do do mismatches, they going. like there you to go, Sarah. exploit our get weaknesses. Taller. Which I guess that's what sports are about, but not really. I had never played with a mixed team before I came here, and it was definitely a big learning curve, knowing specifically how to throw to women and certain patterns that they do that are different from men in game, which was a big curve for me, but I think it's definitely helped me grow as a player, and I plan to play mixed club for probably the rest of my life. Um, we definitely can get down on ourselves because we play a lot of teams who are just bigger and more advanced than we are and I think for some people on the team that can be hard but I would say that tournaments that we 
not necessarily even do well in, but where everybody's spirits are high, then it's really, like, that's my favorite, favorite thing. When I first started, I didn't know anything about the sport. I came in it, into it with literally no knowledge. And um, the first practice that I went to, I was told not to play the actual drill. There, I was actually the only woman there. It was all men that day. Um, and they had me stand on the side and toss with the coach while they were all practicing. Once I started going to more practices and more women started showing up, it was a definitely a different atmosphere. Athletes, male athletes and female athletes, like how there's not really much respect for one another because they've been so isolated and such, but I feel that as though if you have um, mixed teams, like for example in Ultimate Frisbee, you really gain a sense of like respect for the other players and understanding like where they're coming from, like what they're struggling with, what you can help them with, and you, you like gain a certain strength from them and then you can build on it. And it, again, I think that relates really just to like the com camaraderie between like male and female athletes is, is stronger than like if you were isolated. Especially the past year, the dynamic of our team has gotten really just like, we've, we're so cohesive and we communicate with each other and we just have fun together as we've gotten to know each other better. Um, but what I love about our team specifically, like, is that I feel like we all have a fairly similar perspective on the game in the sense that, like, we want to get better, we want to work hard, and we want to have fun. Everyone's always just giving you, like, props and telling you that you did well, and at the end of the day, it makes you feel a lot better about yourself to have people that say that are your back. Especially this semester, this year, more than ever, we have like a great dynamic and great like, you know, I guess you could say like team culture, family culture that is just, just like probably one of the best that I've ever experienced thus far. We always come together and we never have a problem with each other. Being confident is just being backed up by your team, which has been super helpful with this team. Having a team that like I really get along with definitely picks you back up. Give me an A! Hey! Hey!